Make that correction, David. Dynamite Pacheco, four wins against four defeats, one draw. And this is a rematch that we all been waiting for. Scheduled for five three-minute rounds for the Fighters Rep Pro Middleweight title. David Pacheco out of the red corner. Darren Hollywood Smith out of the black corner. And Darren Smith in the pre-fight buildup said, one of us is getting finish. And he's looking for a finish from the get-go. Followed up his dominant win against David Dynamite Pacheco with a fight of the night performance against Mike Segura. And after a rather uneven record in MMA, having a great time in kickboxing, undefeated. Well, one thing I know is about Darren Smith, he's got those big, heavy hands. But David Checko, right now, coming along. Let's see what adjustments they've made since their first fight. Smith going to the body. Pacheco trying to measure. You know, the first fight ended in a third round TKO, so they do have some minutes in the ring together, some familiarity to work with. And the fighter's still trying to measure. Smith at a little leaping jab, comes up short. He's waiting for Pacheco to come in to launch those bombs. A leaping punch. A little Superman punch from Darren Smith. And it looks like Pacheco's just measuring for that cross, just waiting for that cross to come. Landing that right hand, they're trading back and forth. It's Smith with the awkward stop, but when he lands, man, that guy lands with heat. Yeah, he comes with unorthodox angles, and he has brute strength. I mean, the speed and the explosiveness is not really there at the age of 37 anymore for Smith, but when he connects, watch out. Uh, he makes you feel it for sure, and Pacheco's feeling it right now. Pacheco trying to come in and finish a mark at the last minute. Wow, the first of uh, five rounds come to close. How do you see it, Manu? I gave that round 10-9 to Darren Hollywood Smith. I thought he connected with crisp punches, was dictating the action. 
as uh, Pacheco was coming forward, he, Darren was just beautifully countering. And again, you don't see that speed and explosiveness, but you see the efficiency. And, yeah, and, absolutely. And, and Darren Smith did a terrific job getting the first round in the books for him. Well, Darren Smith is very elusive. His hands are a little bit low, but he's able to work those body punches from a lower angle. And then when he does throw, he makes you feel it, and, and you're a little bit hesitant to strike. David Pacheco right now is trying to measure for that cross. He's looking for it. When he does score, it scores effectively. Mm -hmm. Again, these guys are dancing in the ring. Once again, they've been around the block. And here we go for round number two. And that first round almost exclusively took place via boxing. Not too many kicks, but we'll see if that changes here in round two. Smith tries a low kick. And Smith trying to probe those hands inside. I like he goes to the body and he goes over the top with the right. It's a timeout for a low blow. Murphy Mike Bell calling a stop to the action. In this case, fighters have up to five minutes to resume, but they're going to take it right away if a lot of times fighters don't want to cool down in this position. That was more like a five-second break. <laughs> No time to waste for the 37-year-old Darren Hollywood Brown from Palmdale, California. Also has a 3-0-1 boxing record. So again, very decorated fighter. Brings in a lot of experience into the ring. Well, this will be his 55th fight. So between boxing, mixed martial arts, kickboxing, this man has a lot of fights under his belt. It's rare you see fighters accumulate that many fights nowadays just because of the rather inactivity uh, a lot of the fighters don't come up as much as frequent as they should and again Darren Smith cut from a different cloth from a different era and proving it here tonight against David Pacheco so far through two rounds I want to see Pacheco work those legs of Darren Smith. I want to see him use those hands and then set up for the leg because Darren Smith's got that forward mobility and that little leaping punches, but when he does leap in, he's got the heavy hand and the weight behind him. And he is finding his mark. And that's the leg kick I want to see. And Smith landing those hands, and now they're exchanging. Smith backed into the corner, looked for a knee to the head. And again, that is ruled appropriate in the pro ranks. You could knee your opponent in the head. Double jab by Smith. Coming in with those straight stiff punches. Now Darren Smith, just a pit bull. Uh, relentless, just always comes forward and again clocking with a beautiful right hand to finish the round and i saw a high kick from smith and that it's a great way to just keep your opponent thinking up and down how do you see round number two that was another 10-9 round for smith on my card i have a 20 to 18 through two you know it, it is a close fight nothing that david pacheco can't dig himself out of but that effort needs to start now we're reaching the midway point of the fight. And if David Dynamite Pacheco is going to turn to tide, it needs to happen right now. Now, if you were in Pacheco's corner, what advice would you give him going into round number three? You know, when anytime Pacheco is coming forward, he is paying the price by having uh, Darren Smith counter the way he is so accurately and effectively. I think he needs to work in some kicks. I, I think the, the kicks are too few and far between so far on both sides. If, if we're, uh, uh, if we're uh, offering honest commentary here, and I would love to see both fighters offer some different levels than we've seen so far. 
These are very dynamic fighters with different dimensions to their game. And uh, as the fight unfolds, I think you're going to see those layers unfold as well. well. It seems like Pacheco's trying to push the momentum forward. Pacheco, the double jab cross. Darren Smith working that body, coming over the top. And Pacheco with that low kick. And David just needs to let his hands go a little bit more too. Obviously easier said than done when Darren Smith is right up in your grill delivering vicious blows as we see right now. But I like Pacheco when he does throw that low kick. It makes Darren Smith think a little bit up and down. And Smith, just that devastating short power. And Pacheco using those leg kicks. And Smith again with his unorthodox style. Frequently switching from southpaw to orthodox. Just giving him different looks. Might have an eye poke there. stream of blood crossing the face of Pacheco looks like a small cut nothing too serious and Darren Smith follows it up with a beautiful one-two punch combo right after the brief pause in the fight and see that's where I want to see Pacheco throwing those leg kicks to try to set the balance off but Darren Smith is just coming right in with those heavy hands Darren Smith looking to repeat history and score another third round stoppage. Has 25 seconds to pull a, some magic out of a hat, but Pacheco is a grinder so far in this fight. Final seconds of this third round. And another leg kick by Pacheco. You know, and that's what I want to see. I want to see more leg kicks from David Pacheco. David Pacheco is finding his effectiveness, stopping that forward momentum of, of, of Darren Smith as he kind of leaps in. If he uses the leg kicks and it's working effectively, he can even off balance Darren Smith to score with those hands. Let's take a look at some of the action. And we see these guys throwing. Yeah, the action picked up in the latter half of the round. Here we see those punches and bunches. Clocking right hand delivered by Hollywood Smith. I mean, if you want to match power, Smith definitely has that power, that strength. But Pacheco can really slow that momentum down of Darren Smith with those leg kicks and then taking it up top. But here we go in our championship round. This is round number four. Fighters rallying back and forth with their boxing. And Smith is just bringing the pressure on Pacheco. Not really letting him get off any punches just because he is offering his relentless shots. And there goes a knockdown. 
And I don't think he's getting up. It's a and full there count. you have it. What another stoppage. Darren Smith repeating the script and again stopping David Pacheco with a hellacious one-punch knockout. And those heavy hands from Darren Smith paid. Let's take a look at that devastating, devastating knockout. Boom! That right hand right down the pipe rocks the head of David Pacheco. And he threw it right when Pacheco was trying to throw his punch. Boom! Right on the jaw, right on the money. Beautiful family moment here for Darren Hollywood Smith basking in the victory. Well, fight fans, they say Hollywood is on strike, and they mean it right here. It was the Hollywood strike that knocked down David Pacheco, knocked him out. Yeah, Smith pulverized Pacheco with one punch, a one hitter quitter. And he knew it the moment he landed it. He, he couldn't wait to celebrate <laughs> that knockout. He was torpedoing around the ring. And he's definitely enjoying the, the spoils of his work right now. Certainly no need for a trilogy on this one, right? <laughs> I right, don't David? think so, but you know what? A great fight. Every time I see David Pacheco step in the ring, he brings it. He brought the action, but the night belongs to Hollywood. Darren Hollywood Smith by way of knockout. And let's see if Josh Shibata will give us the official time. Darren Hollywood Smith puts the strap. Becoming victorious in this scrap over David Pacheco. And what a great war on this rematch between the two. Darren Smith becomes the Fighters Rep Pro Middleweight Champion, improving his undefeated record to 6-0 on his 55th all sport, all combat sport record.
I know he's gonna come over fire, and I had to come over fire as well. Um, you know, he was fucking my leg up with those light case. Um, but, you know, I found a way to get it through and get it done. Now, let's talk about how to write a lot of emotion show from you. It obviously proved that this fight meant a lot to you. Yeah, well, it not only does this fight mean a lot to me, because, you know, it's a rematch, it's a title fight. All the, you know, we were supposed to fight before then, and then, you know, it was a title fight for that, but I missed it because of the army, so a lot of emotions coming to this. Also, too, is my, yesterday was my son's birthday, so, you know, fucking, kind of made me and taking it away from his day, you know, that, I didn't want to say it, that's for me mentally, but I knew I had to get him a bill for a present. Yeah, what a present for a little Hollywood, the super middleweight title here at Fat and Jack. Now, of course, uh, first of all, listen to you. Thank you for your service to our country. I know doing both, doing both that and fighting and being a dad, it can't be easy. I mean, you know, you just got to make it work. You know, I do what I do. Um, you know, he, him and my wife are like my number one priorities. And then go serve the country, then go to fighting. So fighting was my first love, and then he came around, so he's my first love, or my, my, my main love now. And so, you know, I just try to do the best for them, everything for both of them. Right, the bub? Yeah. A little Hollywood to make a parents, no? Oh, yeah. He's just so a little shy, not ready for a show time just yet. So, real quick, you have the belt, still defeated here in Fighters Trap. What does the future hold for Hollywood Smith? You know, I, I, I tell everybody, I'm trying to lean more towards kickboxing and Muay Thai for the future because you know I get to spend more time with him and um, I can train more. So yeah, um, whenever, whenever the next show is, I love fighting for Fighters Rap. It's always a fucking pleasure. I love coming out and competing for everybody out here. It's always a fucking vibe. Um, shout out to the boxing words. Um, my main man, Donnie Torres, Donnie, Seb, I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. Those of you, these two have been up and comers. Uh, everyone back in Washington, my house is Jitsu, uh, Sarah's and Boys High, The Wave, and um, everyone who rocked with me. Thank you. And thank you.